In March, the Nye County Commission voted 5 to 0 to administer the election using only paper ballots and hand counting them. And just last week, they finished up the vote count by hand. But it exposed the major issues counting by hand presents. The hand counting process involved teams of three triple checking each other's work, wearing gloves to not inadvertently mark the ballot, and using purple pens so that if any mark is made, it's obvious. It was led by Nye County's County Clerk, Mark Kampf, who will join us in a minute. He has previously expressed skepticism of the 2020 election results. He's the one who headed up this massive challenge that hand counting entailed and has admitted that there's been a huge error rate. What was the error rate yesterday? Oh, the error rate was very high. But again, not every, every vote had an error. So I'm saying maybe 25% error rate in the first day. Now, Conf attributed that to the age of the people involved in the process. Unfortunately, you get a lot of mistakes when you get uh, people in, you know, uh, our demographic in this town is 85% uh, of the people are 56 years and older. Yeah, but regardless of age, counting votes by hand is incredibly time consuming. It's difficult and most experts believe it is less accurate as well. This is a test. And just like any test, you learn from it. And that's what we're doing here, is learning about the process so that we can make it better. Earlier, I spoke with Nye County, Nevada clerk, Matt Kampf. Thanks so much for coming on the program. There is this, this error rate, right? And as you know, there have been a lot of studies that I, I, you disagree with that, sh that indicate that a machine counting is more accurate than hand counting, put aside the amount of time it takes. But when you were referring to the 25% error rate that had occurred, um, what were you talking about there? That was about on the initial count. Anytime you get new people, they make mistakes. Those ballot batches were sent back for a recount when those three talliers did not agree. So we were able to then verify those and get those up to 100% accuracy. Nothing was put through the process that wasn't 100% accurate. But it does seem to me you're, you're comparing it, are you not, to the accuracy of machine counts, right? You said uh, the number, the 0 .011 number you mentioned there, and you said, and you compared that to the accuracy of machine counts. Again, all the studies that, that I've read, and including even in, in Maricopa County, where you were able to see the comparisons of the machine counts to the recounts, Right when they're when they when there's a challenge when there's an automatic challenge whatever the case is they can then evaluate how successful uh, were they and the machine counts are incredibly accurate so so why go through this very painstaking process? Well, number one, to increase voter confidence in our county. I don't care what you're doing in New York City or Washington D.C. I care about my county and the voters here. We're looking for some. A process that would allow them to feel confident that their vote is being handled correctly. We've also shown that we could get the votes counted on time using a hand count process in Nye County with near perfect accuracy. So not sure what your studies show, but I've got the data here that shows that we can get a better count than the machines because the Secretary of State's guidelines say that any mark in an oval is counted as a vote. And the tabulators use a 5%. So 5% of the pixels within a uh, oval need to be there for it to be counted as a vote. So a human can see better results than a computer. It does take longer though, right? I mean, you would concede that. Yeah, I would concede that it takes yeah. a, a bit longer time. Yes, but again, if you look at the elapsed time we used to count using the tabulators through last uh, Saturday, had we not been stopped, we would have gotten done in the same amount of time. Yeah, I mean, look, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I'm not as concerned with how long it takes, right? If, if, if I was convinced that the machine counts were inaccurate, I'd say, mm -hmm. you know what? Let them take as long as they need to get them accurate. Right. I guess I'm just not convinced that the machine counts are inaccurate. Are, and you are? I'm convinced that the machine counts are set at different settings than a human sees. Yeah. And if those settings were sent at a different sensitivity, 
we would be matching 100%. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of the sensitivity settings on those machines as to what counts as a vote. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.